Thank you, Griffin. Thank you, Coach Liz Mills, for being with us. Coach, you are making a story. Uh, 20, 28 years after the last time Kenya was in, in AfroBasket, you are among the last 12 teams in Africa. What is your feeling? Well, look, this is actually the first win at AfroBasket for Kenya in three appearances. So it's historic on a lot of levels. I could not be more proud of this group. Uh, we had some tough games in terms of Nigeria and Cote d'Ivoire, very winnable games. We regrouped, we had a look at ourselves in the mirror, and we came out ready to go against Mali. Uh, we made it a little bit entertaining for everyone at the end because we wouldn't want to blow them out by too much. So we thought, let's give our fans a heart attack. But at the end of the day, we're really happy to get the win, and I'm so proud of uh, this team. Uh, Griffin, rewind. In last February, when you saw Tyler Rungwe hitting the last winning shot to make you the team qualified for this Afro basket, did you imagine being among the last 12 teams remaining? Uh, at Afro basket? Yeah. Uh, based, based on uh, you know, the way things have been uh, changing for us, uh, getting Coach Lee's and how great she is at uh, preparing us and stuff, I was very confident with uh, our group on uh, what we can do. So I definitely knew uh, we, we weren't going to exit in the first round, and uh, I definitely knew we were going to have a great run. Dear colleagues, questions, please? Uh, to you, great captain, uh, what did you tell yourselves after the second defeat, you know, as a team, so that you deliver in the third game? Uh, we just had one option, and that was either to win or go home. So we didn't want to go home. We wanted to uh, give ourselves uh, another opportunity to keep on playing in the tournament. So we came out with that mindset. Uh, Ntakuuliza swali kwa Kiswahili. Uh, next, mnacheza South Sudan ama Uganda. Kama ni South Sudan, kuna yo rivalry. Bo ongelea kuhusu game inakuja next. Uh, kama itakuwa South Sudan, uh, uh, tuna, tuna wajua poa. So, tutakuwa ready. Uh, the thing is, uh, ndiyo, hao ni rivals, but uh, tikifika pale kwa court, atataka kujua. So, si, tuta, tuta come kabisa kabisa na you know we will not at to entertain so we'll just execute execute and give give ourselves a chance to you know to win that game no just just to translate because i know okay. coach coach mills has an yes. african heart yes. but she she doesn't understand okay, swahili yeah. i guess you okay. i guess you don't understand swahili oh i got it's, how do we feel about playing uganda in south sudan yeah. right yeah. oh so Yes, Bravo. Yeah, so, and, and he said that South Sudan are rivals, but they know them very well, but mm -hmm. they are going to play their best out and will face whichever team that plays Kenya. Thank you. Yeah. I honestly think Uganda, South Sudan, whoever we're meeting, we are a team that can beat anybody in this tournament. Uh, we're so well prepared. The players are locked in. It's all about our execution, and you've seen that in the three games, that we, we compete and we are in games right until the very end. Um, experience we've gained over these three games is amazing and we just need to build on that. But I want to shout out to our captain who ha was an amazing leader tonight, not only pouring in the points but how he carried himself and he included his teammates. Abs attitude reflects leadership and he was a big reason why we won tonight. Swali ya musho Griffin kwako. Imara ya kwanza East Africa ikona team zine Afrobasket. Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda na South Sudan. Ebu ongelea kuhusu Africa basketball within East Africa. Kama inainuka ama ikoje? I think the basketball in East Africa is is getting better and better. And that's, uh, that's something that uh, is good for this region because previously it wasn't the case. It was only uh, Egypt and another team. But right now as you can see we have more than those teams. So that's a good thing. Uh, I'm sure it's going to reflect even on the local leagues, and uh, that's going to bring the comp competition up because that's what we want. We want to uh, be able to compete like exceptionally well at, at, at Bal. And the only way is to just to have teams, uh, national teams from East Africa playing in uh, uh, Afrobasket. Uh, Coach Liz, a question to you. Talk about Rwanda and the organization of Afrobasket. How has it been for Team Kenyan generally? 
Uh, look, it's a big tournament to host and whoever, whichever country, it's always a big ask. So shout out to Rwanda for hosting, especially during COVID. Um, in terms of our location, it hasn't been ideal for us and we're at a major disadvantage being 45 minutes away from the city. And our opponents are only 10 minutes away from, the, from this arena. We've got to travel 45 minutes just to go to practice, 45 minutes back, and then 45 minutes back to the game. That's two hours that my team is wasting as opposed to 20 minutes on the other side. Uh, apart from that, uh, the organization has been very smooth, exactly what I expected from Rwanda. Um, they do a great job of making us feel welcomed um, and anything we needed, they've stepped up and provided. So uh, this for us, I expected them to be great hosts and we thank them for hosting us. Uh, last question, uh, Coach. Um, the next game is going to arrive very quickly. How are you going uh, to figure the um, coming time? Look, we've got a great support staff uh, from our physio to our doctor. Our video coordinator, Daniel Kim, is a coach in Australia. Cuts up our film. Three hours later, I know exactly what I need to do. Um, I've got great assistant coaches. These players are locked in and ready. So for us, hey, we could play tomorrow and we would feel confident. So given the fact that tomorrow is a rest day, um, these guys get the afternoon off, but we're very, very focused. Uganda, South Sudan, doesn't matter. It's all about what we do on the court. Um, and we're feeling very confident heading into those games. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you very much, Griffin. Thank you. All, all the best. Thank you.